Hey, this is David Young. I'm Chief Engineer at Radius Networks. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Alt Beacon Advertisements. First of all, if you're interested in the basics of beacon technology, check out our Beacon 101 video. Well, what is an Alt Beacon Advertisement? Alt Beacon is a standard for Bluetooth Low Energy Beacons created by Radius Networks. It's based on advertisements that are sent out 10 times per second, and each of these advertisements has five fields. The first three of these fields are beacon identifier fields. And these are often set up in the same way so they can be interoperable with iBeacon technology. This means that Android and other devices can pick up Alt Beacon advertisements and use them in the same way as iOS devices use iBeacon advertisements. The first one of these identifier fields is called ID1. It is a 16-byte field that is actually a UUID or Universally Unique Identifier. You generate one of these for your organization. Usually your same company is using the same one for everything. And using this generator, you don't have to register it with anybody because there are so many combination of UUIDs out there, the chances of using the same one someone else already has is actually less than you being struck by a meteorite. The second field is ID2. This is a two-byte field that ranges between 0 and 65535. You usually use this field to group your beacons into some logical order. The third field is called ID3. Now this is also a two-byte field that ranges between 0 and 65535. This is often used as a sequential beacon identifier, number 1, number 2, number 3, and so on. But there's nothing saying you have to use it this way. You could set all ID3 values to the same value. In fact, there's nothing stopping you from setting the same value for all your beacons for all of these fields. It all depends on how you want to set it up. The fourth field is called the power calibration value. What this is is the is the measured expected signal strength that the beacon will have on a receiving phone at a distance of one meter away. This is used to estimate the distance between your mobile device and the beacon. You can get a rough idea of how far you are away using this technology. The last field, number five, is the data field. This is actually a manufacturer specific implementation and varies from beacon to beacon using the alt beacon standard. The one byte can have a number of uses. It can be used as perhaps as a battery level, if you have a battery powered beacon, or it can be used maybe with a temperature sensor to tell you what the temperature is as sensed by that beacon. These are all the fields that are there in an alt beacon advertisement. It's actually pretty simple, but using this as a building block, you can make some pretty sophisticated applications. If you're interested in learning more about beacon technology, check out our other videos or go visit us at radiusnetworks.com at the link below.